From skulls made out of crystal to screaming death whistles, here are 10 of the strangest artifacts ever. Number 10. Ubaid Lizardmen For people who love conspiracy theories, it's a common belief that the world was shaped by ancient aliens. Or for people who watch Ancient Aliens on the History Channel, which is all kinds of confusing for people who don't know much about history. Stories exist of lizards who secretly control our society, and if the Ubaid lizard men are anything to go by, maybe they have a point. They were discovered in 1919 at an archaeological mound known as Al Ubaid in the historic region of Mesopotamia, Iraq. The Ubaidians can be traced back to between 4000 and 5500 BC and predate existing ideas of civilization. They built villages and towns and were mostly farmers. It seems like they also had a thing for lizards. Discovered at the archaeological site were a series of figurines depicting lizard-like humans in a variety of poses. The figures were both male and female. Not only were they wearing human armor, but were also doing things like breastfeeding babies. Normal for human mothers, but a little disconcerting when a lizard does it. Some think this is evidence of unearthly creatures who came from the skies to teach humans modern technology. Others connect the findings to ancient representations of snakes and say that this is something similar. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, but one thing's for sure, those figurines are pretty weird stuff. And without more context, the story and history remains a mystery. Number 9. The Giant Balls of Costa Rica The United Fruit Company is mainly associated with fruit, of course, and exploitation, but that's for another video. In the 1930s, they made a major archaeological discovery while going about their business in Costa Rica. They stumbled across some stone spheres thought to be handcrafted by ancient civilizations. Now the Giant Balls of Costa Rica. Made from something called granodiorite, which is very tough stuff, they range in size and weight. They can be a few centimeters long or up to two meters in diameter. There are over 300 of them in certain areas of the country, and they can weigh up to 16 tons. So you wouldn't want one rolling over your foot. As for what they represent, the jury's still out. It's believed they were made by the descendants of natives who were in Costa Rica in the 1500s, around the time of the Spanish conquest. The balls have been also connected to Atlantis. However, some people believe they were formed naturally, like spheres in Bowling Ball Beach, California, and that maybe ancient civilizations used them for religious purposes. The sad thing is that over the years, the spheres have been removed from their original locations to be used for things like display pieces, and of course lawn ornaments because people are like that. So it's hard to trace where these stone spheres originated and or why they were made in the first place. Number 8. The Genetic Disc This stone disc illustrates the development of a human fetus. There's just one problem. It's over 6,000 years old, and in theory, no one was supposed to know what the inside of a uterus looked like back then. This prehistoric oddity is called the genetic disc and was found in Colombia. It's 27 centimeters, nearly a foot long in diameter, and weighs 2 kilograms. It was thought to come from the city of Suta Tausa, though others claim it originated from under the ground in a 200-kilometer-long network of tunnels running from the Ecuadorian city of Cuenca to the jungles beyond. Either way, the people who made it are still a mystery to history and were very advanced for the time. The disc is made of lydite stone, which has an unusual composition. Lydite or touchstone is hard like granite, but composed of layers which crack easily if you try and cut into it. That's what makes the markings on the disc so strange. It's presumed it was created by a technique unknown to today's technology. The disc is the original circle of life, and they even identified the purpose of sperm thousands of years before its official definition. Who these people were and what technology and abilities they had has been lost. And now for maybe the scariest artifact ever. But first, if you are new here, welcome. And be sure to subscribe before you leave. Number 7. The Aztec Death Whistle These artifacts were found in an Aztec temple dedicated to the wind god. At first, the clay skull-shaped items were thought to be little ornaments or maybe even toys. But many years later, archaeologists figured out that not only did they look creepy, but they sounded creepy too. They were also found in the hands of a sacrificed male skeleton, so that might give you a hint of what they were for. You're not supposed to like the sound of the Aztec death whistle. It's thought to have been used for warfare and while making sacrifices, so when the whistle blew, it was never a comforting sound. 
the whistle has nothing to do with music and is pretty terrifying. Just imagine about to go to war with the Aztecs when you hear thousands of people screaming sounding something like this. <coughs> Tribes would use this whistle as psychological warfare to frighten their enemies. What do you think? Would it work? If you blow several at the same time, they would be pretty effective. Also, the frequency of the whistle has a strange effect on your brain due to the vibrations and it is believed that this can alter people's state of consciousness and is supposed to put people in a trance. The Aztecs and other pre-Columbian civilizations had many noise-making devices. Some were destructive and others were used for healing ceremonies. Several archaeologists have been focusing on the music and instruments they made to help bring these civilizations back to life. After all, ancient cultures were not deaf and mute like we study them. Number 6. The Baghdad Battery These days you can just go to a store and buy a pack of tiny batteries, even though everyone complains that they get more and more expensive every year. You'd have trouble doing that with these guys. The Baghdad batteries are a true mystery from ancient times and suggest that civilizations back then came up with many things thousands of years before we thought it was invented. German archaeologist Wilhelm Koenig found these so-called batteries in 1938, just before World War II broke out. They were 13 centimeters long and from the outside looked like a clay jar. Inside the jar is an iron rod and around that a copper cylinder. The stopper was made from asphalt and traces of acidic corrosion, which led Koenig to think that these were items of ancient electrical equipment. The exact nature of the batteries isn't clear. In fact, some argue about whether they're batteries at all. They appear to date from 200 BC, which is the Parthian era, but the design suggests the later Sasanian era. Potato, potato. Explanations vary from a way to electroplate stuff like jewelry to an electrified statue. There's a theory that a load of the batteries were placed inside a religious statue so when people touched it they got a mild shock and would be fearful of the statue's power. That's a way to gain respect. If it's true, whoever made it was pretty clever and sneaky. But if it wasn't used for the statue, then what did they need electricity for in 200 BC anyway? Number 5. Ancient Model Aircraft Ancient relics from past civilizations often show things like flying carpets or winged chariots, so it makes sense some people think there were real flying machines whizzing about the sky thousands of years ago. Apparently, these artifacts are real evidence of this. They're called the Saqqara Bird and the Tolima or Kimbaya artifacts, respectively. The Saqqara Bird was excavated in Egypt in 1898. It's made of sycamore and has a wingspan of 180 millimeters. The bird is thought to have been crafted in approximately 200 BC and used as the masthead on a ship, though there are those who think it was better suited to the air than for the sea. In fact, they believe it's a miniature replica of a glider used in ancient times. This idea is widely disputed because in all honesty, if you built that thing full size, it would look crazy and wouldn't be able to fly. People have tried. Which brings us to the Tolima or Kimbaya artifacts. They're small, golden, charm-like objects which were also found in Colombia. They're from around 1000 CE and many similar objects can be seen in the Gold Museum in Bogota. Like the Saqqara bird, they're also believed to be mini airplanes. Archaeologists believe that they are early representations of animals and are not supposed to be interpreted as aircraft. Number 4. Crystal Skulls Indiana Jones made crystal skulls famous. But like the Ark of the Covenant or the Holy Grail, there is a real legend behind these fascinating artifacts. Question is, are they genuine pieces from ancient history or just a nice little ornament for your mantelpiece? A lot of them are produced even today, but there is a particular interest in a group of around a dozen skulls that aren't like any of the others. They can be normal human size or smaller and are either transparent crystal or cloudy quartz. Some experts think they come from ancient Mesoamerica, though of course, you guessed it, others believe they are from an alien civilization. One theory goes that the skulls are ancient computers that can record the lives of people who go near them. However, the presence of skulls in Aztec art as a symbol of regeneration leads people to suspect it's more to do with symbolism than supernatural powers. When they were checked out under an electron microscope, it seemed these skulls had been carved using more recent techniques, dating from the 19th century. Stranger still, they may have come from Germany, far from their American origins, and might actually be a hoax. Because they're so freaky looking, it's easy to assume there's something odd about them. So far, it's been hard to say. Number 3. 
Voynich Manuscript Perhaps no artifact is as strange as the Voynich Manuscript. Found by a rare book dealer in 1912, after who it was named, it stunned experts at first because it was full of strange images and descriptions that appeared to be deeply weird and alien. The text was unusual as if it were written in code and it had many illustrations of naked ladies and plant life that doesn't exist. Wild stuff, right? Could it have been a record of something extraterrestrial from way back in history? Researchers nixed that theory by revealing it was actually a copy of an ancient text that was produced in the Middle Ages. It's still pretty weird. The language in the book was made up of Latin abbreviations of medical words relating to women's health. There were also pictures of stuff like people holding magnets in the bath. Might sound strange, but magnets were seen as a way to promote good health in the 15th century. Based on this, writer and researcher Nicholas Gibbs concluded that the Voynich manuscript was a knockoff of an old guide to medicine aimed at female patients, but the results are inconclusive. To learn more about mysterious books, be sure to check out my video on the most mysterious books in the world. Number 2. The Shroud of Turin One of the most famous artifacts in history is the Shroud of Turin. It's believed to be the cloth that Jesus Christ was wrapped in when he was brought down from the cross. This sheet of linen seems to show the impression of a man and many consider it proof of the Son of God, but is it really him and is the cloth really that old? This is a debate that's been going on for centuries. The cloth is 4.4 meters by 1.1 meters and shows a bearded man about 1.75 meters tall. He's got various wounds and the linen is stained red, presumably from blood. The nature of the wounds look like crucifixion marks as they are seen on the wrists his side, the forehead, torso, and legs. The Roman Catholic Church has watched over the shroud since 1983. Before that, it was the property of the Royal House of Savoy, who owned it for centuries. It's found in the Royal Chapel of the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy, but don't expect to see it anytime soon. It is only on display on special occasions, and it looks like you'll have to wait until 2025 for your next opportunity. How the image was created is not known. Some believe it's like a photographic process because of the way the image appeared when photographed in 1898. To the photographer's surprise, when he looked at the negative, the image seemed positive, which was really strange and spooky. What's also strange is when it was carbon dated, the shroud was judged as only 728 years old. So who was this man and where did this cloth come from? Number 1. The Antikythera Mechanism we know that when computers were first invented, they were huge, but somehow the ancients were able to make a small computer thousands of years ago. Believed to come from ancient Greece, it's an early, very early example of an analog computer like a slide rule and is made from bronze and wood. It was discovered in 1900 inside a Roman shipwreck off the coast of the island of Kythera in the Aegean Sea. That's where it got its name of Antikythera, meaning opposite Kythera. 30 bronze gears are contained in a wooden box, and it took a long time for the find to be recognized as significant. Divers were more interested in all the Roman coins and clay pottery found in the shipwreck. By the 1970s, in-depth studies were taking place about what the Antikythera mechanism was. Legendary explorer Jacques Cousteau recovered some of the missing pieces, giving experts even more insight into the device. But what did it actually do? The 3400 Greek characters inscribed on the mechanism's dials and rings show it's supposed to be an astronomical clock, enabling the user to calculate things like lunar cycles and planetary movements. Some believe you can also use it to predict the future. Thanks for watching! What did you think was the strangest artifact? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and see you soon! Bye!